Now, we're going to uh, be swearing in uh, four uh, reappointments and one new appointment to the board, and they're for a four-year term. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to read all the bios, uh, and then I will um, have everyone standing. We'll do the oath all at one time. Okay? All right. Uh, the first is uh, Ms. Dempsey, Ms. Louise Dempsey, is a Senior Fellow for Education Policy and retired Assistant Dean of Cleveland State University's Cleveland Marshall Law School. She has served on the Cleveland Board of Education since 1998 as one of the original members of the mayoral appointed board. That was by Mayor White back then, is that correct? Uh, Ms. Dempsey served as Vice Chair of the board from 09 to 17. She earned a bachelor's degree from McGill University and her Jewish doctorate from Cleveland Marshall Law School. Ms. Dempsey also holds a certificate of advanced studies in bioethics uh, from Cleveland State University. She lives in Bratnall and is the proud mother of a Collinwood High School graduate. All right. Uh, next, we have Ms. Link. Denise Link has worked at PNC for over 30 years and served as Vice President in Network Planning and Delivery. Ms. Link has served on the Board, uh, board of Education since 07 and served as Chair from 09 until 17. Before joining the Board of Education, she served on the District Bond Accountability Commission. Ms. Link was recognized by the Council of Greater City Schools with its uh, Richard R. Green Award as a 2013 Urban Educator of the Year. Ms. Link holds a bachelor's degree in economics and psychology from the University of Michigan and an MBA from Case Western Reserve University Weatherhood School of Management. She lives in uh, a Ohio city area with her husband and children. Jasmine Fryer is a senior director of strategic growth at Building Excellent Schools. Ms. Fryer has served on the um, Board of Education since 2017. Uh, she was a Fulbright starter, a scholar who began her career as a middle school teacher and Teach for American Corps member. She has worked, lived, and volunteered in Thailand, China, Morocco, Jordan, and Israel. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science and Urban Practice and Policy from the University of Richmond, a Master's of Art in Secondary Social Study Education from uh, Lehman uh, College, and a Master of Public Policy from the University of Chicago and she lives in the Buckeye Shaker neighborhood of Cleveland. Sarah Ellicott, did I say it right? Okay. Is Executive Director of Minds Matter uh, Cleveland. Ms. Ellicott is, uh, serves, has served on the board since, uh, Board of Education since uh, April of this year. She is a recipient, recipient of the YMCA Greater Cleveland Distinguished Young Woman Award and was named the 2019 Cranes Cleveland Business 40 Under 40 class. Uh, she is a graduate of Case Western Missouri University Law School, received her bachelor's degree in international relationship and French from Ohio State University, and she lives in Gordon Square, uh, the Gordon Square neighborhood of Cleveland. Ms. Catherine uh, Valdez is the managing partner of KL, K Legal, K Legal LLC, a law firm she recently started. Uh, as a James a. F. Rose High School alumni, Val, Ms. Valdez began her career as a middle school Spanish teacher uh, and tech and Teach for America core member. Ms. Valdez holds a bachelor's degree in Spanish political science, international studies from Case Western Reserve University. She obtained a post uh, baccalaureate 
uh, teacher's certificate uh, from the University of North Georgia. Ms. Valdez is a graduate of Cleveland Marshall College of Law. She lives in the Clark Fulton neighborhood with her husband and daughter who is a CMA, CMSD student. And she is the, a newly appointed uh, board member. Okay, so if everyone can stand and raise your right hand. Now, uh, I'm gonna read it all, Ms. Dempsey, so you don't have to repeat it. And then I'll read it all, and then it, uh, at the end you just say, I do, and that'll be it. Um, first, I do want you to state your name. I do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and perform faithfully the duty of the Office of Board of Education member of the Cleveland Municipal School District. Thank you. Thank you very congratulations. Oh. Now, uh, what we'll do is, uh, we always allow somebody to say something, but since you're the newest member, you wanna go first? <laughs> Why don't you come up here so they can, yeah. Well, my name is Kathleen Valdez, and as a newly appointed board member, I'm really honored to have this opportunity to serve the Cleveland Municipal School District, and I look forward to working with my colleagues starting tomorrow at our very first, uh, now, um, <laughs> um, but tomorrow at our first meeting that we have, and there's a lot of work to do, I'm sure you guys know, so let's get to it. so much for you for helping. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you and Mayor. Thank you. My name is Jasmine Fryer. It's certainly been an honor and a privilege to serve on the Cleveland Metropolitan School District Board of Education. Um, I can't thank the mayor enough for his leadership over the schools as well as CEO Eric Gordon and the rest of my colleagues. I look forward to um, continue to make sure that the district uh, is worthy of the students that it serves. Thank you. My name is Sarah Ellicott. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you uh, to my fellow board members. It's been an honor serving as the no longer newest board member. <laughs> and um, it's great to be working with a group of people who I know and I see every meeting really believe in our kids and Eric as well, obviously. So I look forward to continuing to do that. Good afternoon, I'm Denise Link, and I'm pleased to be reappointed. Thank you, Mayor, and also thank you to Ms. Price, because I know she plays a big role in this whole process, um, which you know is very important. Uh, thank you to my other colleagues that are here, Mr. Gordon, Mr. Burtzloff, um, and I guess I'm most excited about our new colleague that we have a, a CMSD grad, which is wonderful, and also with your lovely young daughter. Um, when I started, it's been, I think, 13 years, and my son was here in like his little baseball uniform, and I don't recall what exact grade, I think he was about nine, and now he's a senior in college about to graduate. So it does go quickly, and um, certainly we're all here for the same reason, and that's to serve her and her uh, other kindergartners and all the rest of them uh, beautifully. So thank you for joining us. I'll just take a minute to say welcome. Welcome particularly to you. Thank you to you all for agreeing to serve again, and Mayor and Monica for these smart appointments, and we look forward to working together. Thank you. Uh, again, welcome to the board. Welcome back to the board. Uh, as, as the veterans know, this is not easy work, but it's important work probably the most important work that could be done in our country today. So thank you, and we look forward to your work and continued efforts. Mm -hmm. 
Well, hello, bosses. <laughs> uh, I also just want to say congratulations and thank you to each of you. Um, you know, over the several years that I've had the honor of leading with you in the district, I've seen how other boards and superintendents either care for or don't care for each other. And I think we have moved the needle here because of a very deliberate strategy of making sure that we are holding each other accountable, but also in a trusted environment. And I really appreciate it and do not take it for granted. So congratulations and welcome back to everybody. Welcome, Kathleen. Looking forward to working with you. And to family, because uh, there are some family here, I also know uh, from my own family what the work widow the CMSD widow experience is, so, so please remember to thank family members, uh, parents, husbands, children, who, um, it, all of the people who allow you to do this as well. Thank you. All right. Well, again, congratulations. And um, I will say in, in closing that um, the public has given us everything that we have asked for, everything. They've given us a capital budget, and they're paying for it. They've given us an operating budget twice, and they're paying for it. And we'll be going out uh, next year, I believe, uh, for another operating uh, budget levy. You know what that is, and it will be determined between now and then. But you remember that they gave us everything that we asked for which means they have a right to expect a better outcome. It is their right, all right? And you are the ones who we're depending on to work with the administration, the superintendent, and, and getting that done. Uh, what you'll find is I never interfere. I don't think there is a board member who can say I ever called them to do anything uh, and tell them how to vote or anything. I pick you because I believe that you can independently make the right decision and you don't need my guidance, all right? And it's on you. Thank you, thank you.